This conference will now be recorded. The time being 4.48 p.m., I'd like to call the meeting of January 5th, 2023 to order. First order of business is the <clears throat> Pledge of Allegiance. Before the minutes, I'd like to note that Selectman Pyra will be joining us remotely. Remote participation is allowed per RSA 91A23. Selectman Pyra's attendance is not reasonably practical due to illness. Uh, next order of business is to review and approve the minutes of 12 1, 12 15, and 12 22. There's something they had. Um... Nope. I'm good. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of December 1st, 2022. Oh, wait. Um, for the first, I had 12 21. Um, I had one amendment. You want to second it, then we'll amend it. On um, 12 1. Oh, if it doesn't get seconded. Okay. Okay. Mr. Scanlon, here with your amendment on. Okay, it was um what page? It was on the boiler. Where is it? On the chimney. What page? I'm, I'm just trying to find it right now. I looked at it on my cell phone, so I don't know which page. Was it page three or five in the middle? Yeah, I just want to add. There's the two, three. Looking into a new boiler and replacing the heating system. Um, the, and I want to add and abandon the chimney as it will be unused. Was that sad in the yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I explained why why fix the chimney we can just be in and we can have there was a lot more to it, but that was the uh, one of the statements. Okay. I'll ask you to check it and get the right wording for the Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of twelve one twenty two as amended. Second. Motion in a second. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> he said oh. Oh, On the 1215 minutes? Yes, December 15th minutes.
I'll make a motion that we set the minutes of Thursday, December 15th as written. Second. Motion and second. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 So, ayes and then uh, Selectman Jessamine abstains because he was not in attendance. Uh, on to the minutes of December 22nd. I make a motion to accept the minutes of December 22nd, 2022. Second. Motion and second. Discussion. Other than the fact I got robbed on the <laughs> I did The presentation was far better by selecting council. They were all great. They were all very good. I don't know. I think it was a dog biscuit that kind of threw it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hearing, hearing no more discussion that has to do with the real stuff and not just the cookies. Um, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, next, I would like to make a motion to accept a $100 donation from Sandra and Joseph Kressner for the Tilton Senior Center. And second. Motion and a second. Thank you, Sandy and John. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much, Sandy and Joe Kressner, for that donation. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to accept a $1,000 donation from John and Charlotte Cooper for the Tilton Senior Center. Second. Motion and second. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 So. Aye. Thank you. Charlie Cooper for that donation. <clears throat> Jean, we were going to do that. Yeah. So, um, Leanne, do you want to come up? Yeah, please. Hi. So I just came here tonight because I wanted to let everybody know right up front something that happened this morning on my way into work. Um, so there's no misunderstanding of what happened this morning. Um, as uh, I was coming to work this morning, um, Luke and I were walking in. We were out at the front door of the building where the granite steps are. Uh, it was before 8.30. The doors were all locked. And there was a woman waiting by the door inside under the cover because it was sprinkling out, waiting for the building to open. Um, so Luke and I came up, came up the front steps, and I went and reached for my keys to open the door. While we were there, two women came out of their car behind us and approached the steps. Um, one of them reached over at Luke, and when she reached over at Luke, I guess to pat him, I mean, she wasn't doing anything wrong. Um, uh, Luke uh, snapped at her or nipped at her, nipped at her hand. Um, the woman that was with her, I think was her mom. These were two adult women, but the one was the mother and one was the daughter. I think the daughter was maybe, obviously, they were both adults. And the woman kind of yelled at the daughter that don't be reaching at dogs like that. And so I said, sorry. And she said, oh, well, she shouldn't be reaching in. So we came in the building and we all walked in together. I mean, she followed behind us. There was no altercation. Um, I honestly wasn't even aware that um, he had nipped her. Um, and so we came in and we came upstairs and they did their business, whatever business that was at the town clerk's office. Um, and then later in the morning, um, uh, not the not the 20 year old that that reached her hand out, but I guess it was her mom. The other one was with her, called and said that he had nipped her hand, and that um, I apologized and and said I wasn't aware. And she said there was no problem that she shouldn't have reached over to Luke like that. And 
you know, surprised him and that she understands and just wanted to make sure that Luke was all squared away and um, with shots and all that. And I said, yes. And she said, you know, it was minor and not to worry about it. And, um, you know, again, she said they shouldn't be reaching out for the dog like that. Again, it all happened outside. We came in and I just didn't want anything to come up later or you hear that there was some kind of altercation. Uh, you know, I he's been here three years. He's never had a problem with an incident like that. I just think he got boxed in there and the doors were all closed. And I think he got surprised coming from behind and, uh, and he nipped her and um, she was very gracious about it. She didn't seem to, she seemed to be pretty understanding and, and somewhat apologetic to her, her um, interaction with Luke. So anyway, I'm always usually very conscious of what he's doing and we watch him and he was on leash outside and I mean, it just, it just happened. Like I said, it happened so fast. I didn't even know. I don't think, I don't think anybody knew except maybe the girl that, you know, maybe got the tip of her, I don't even know the her finger um, nip. So that did happen. And I wanted you all to be aware of it. I know Luke is here um, because you allowed him to be here and uh, they abide by the rules and the leash and was outside the building, but I mean, it still happened um, coming, approaching town hall. So I wanted you to know, and uh, I don't think um, there's any issue with the woman. I didn't have any further conversation with her. Um, I have her name and her daughter's name. That's... Nobody's called me. No, only the, well, she called me. Yeah, but yeah. I was asking you if anybody no. called you. No. She, she contacted me. I'm, I'm friends with Kristen, who's the mother. Oh, Bree was the daughter. So they, Bree's the daughter. She's like yeah. twenty. Yeah, she's twenty-one 20 or something. 20. No, she's not. Yeah, they reached out to me. Yeah, I, I've known. I've known. So both. there's no issues at all. Um, they, you know, they they were fine. They just <laughs> candid. She, oh, she, Kristen me. had Kristen had reached out to me to to find out Leanne's name so she could double check on the vaccinations. Oh, that was oh okay, was. got it. That was what it was. So that makes that, sense. That's why she called. So she didn't so. call because she had because so, she seemed very gracious yeah. on the phone. I was, yeah. you know, she didn't have any complaints or she just understood it yeah, was kind it, of a it's a it's a it's a tiny they send me it's a tiny little thing just right on the right on, on the, the nail the fingernail yeah and i can i can forward the pictures if you can see it i'll forward it to you well, i can just send it to you now, yeah. so yeah like i said i don't think she knew until later i mean that's how no, that's what that person who told me that they noticed it they didn't notice it until they were driving home so i appreciate you coming in and letting us know okay think that we have for years allowed years, not just the policy, a years allowed dogs to come in when they when folks register their animals. And we always take that risk of coming in, going out, people petting them. We, I mean, it's a free for all downstairs with cookies oh, yeah. at the door. And we, we always take that risk of other people petting other dogs. And we have we always learn, and me as a rescuer, always learn to ask that question, can I? Mm -hmm. And and a lot of people don't know to do that. I mean, that's, uh, and that's what Kristen said. She said, you know, you need to learn to ask. Right, right. Just you reach need out to learn to ask if it's okay to do that. And people genuinely want to come in and bring their dogs and register them and the new puppies and so on and so forth. And that's a fun thing to do. We don't want to discourage them to do that. But... Um, and I do think in any other situation, she could have patted Luke. I just mm -hmm. think we were in that box to right. area and right. came from behind. And I think it just was a circumstance. But nevertheless, you know, um, yeah. mm -hmm. he made a mistake, that's for sure. Right. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, thank you. Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure I got every single signature from Mr. Pearson here. <laughs> I covered every piece of paper. All right. Mr. Pearson, it's good to see you again. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh, so first things first, uh, the tax anticipation note. Uh, is, it sounds like it's making the rounds already. There are six places to sign, and then there are all also. Uh, Forms from the bank uh, for Selectman Jessman and Selectman Scanlon, I think Selectman Constantino and Ruggles filled theirs out. They uh, required some extra information. Uh, so what's highlighted on that form is what they're missing 
and that they requested you fill out. Uh, so that was uh, that should have been on top of your your first paperwork when you came in. Um, there are six places to sign. I'll have to have uh, Selectman Pyra sign it at another time uh, before it's active, but uh, we're in uh, good shape cash-wise for now, so that's it. Yep. Uh, so there should be a highlighted uh, area on there, and that's what they need filled in. Uh, I can tell you that uh, from a rate standpoint, um, this is this is the rate that we locked in back in, uh, I want to say, uh, November, maybe uh, late October, November, um, at 3.75% for the $2.5 million. And we have the opportunity through the bank if if um, to reprice this mid-year uh, if for some reason rates drop precipitously. Um, you know, we can go ahead and rerun it through them, and uh, they're willing to do that. So, um, uh, but right now, if we were to, if we were to um, uh, go out for this note, uh, we'd be a little bit higher than where we are now, and we're also earning 3.51 percent on our deposits right now. So there's only a difference of about. Uh, 0.26, a little over a quarter point um, between what we're earning in deposits and um, and what this TAN interest rate is. So it, it just remains to be seen. What's kind of interesting, if you look at interest rates also, um, a one-year um, or five-year is in some cases higher than a 30-year rate right now. So the inversion is, um, is uh, certainly problematic for the marketplace. and uh, you know, I feel like we're in a good position in that we have a fixed uh, fixed rate that we can rely on during the year. And uh, like I said, if it drops precipitously for some reason mid-year, we can reprice it. So uh, as you're signing those, uh, would you like me to continue on to the, uh, the budget discussion? Oh, well, I will check this before I leave. Let me just run it. Yes. Yeah. Is that the information she had? Yeah. Let me just make sure. Thank you. Okay. So far, so good. I uh, I think I've broken the code on multiple pages to be signed because in the past they've been paper clipped, and sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't, and stapling them. Very proud of myself. This worked. <laughs> Thank you very much for signing them all, all of you. And Eric, I'll catch you at another time. So for the budget, uh, I did send this, Eric, uh, so it should be in your email, uh, the, the current version. It is little changed from the last iteration that you have of the budget, and uh, and I wish I had had more time this week to write up more for you. Um, and give you a proper report, but uh, it's been uh, just a, an incredibly challenging time at the end of year, beginning of year. So, uh, so in any case, the the changes to this were twofold. One is that the janitorial service, uh, because of the agreement that we were under, it required 30 days notice, so it will expire at the end of January. So we needed to put in uh, the budget for January. And that's in at $2,492, which is split between town hall and PD, one third, two third, respectively. And then, um, and then because of the boiler, the new boiler that's going to be installed this year, and looking at where we were uh, year to date with the heating for town hall, we reduced that by $1,440 and left it level funded from year to year. So there's a net difference of an increase of $1,052 in this budget. <clears throat> So as I said, little changed. Um, it the uh, the budget committee is going to start uh, voting this next week, and they have voted on the outside, most of the outside agencies, which are on page is thirteen. Uh, page thirteen. And uh, you'll see both under culture and recreation, 
Uh, they voted on Hall Library, Old Home Day, Park Cemetery, Lakes Region Mental Health, Youth Assistance, Community Action, Franklin Visiting Nurses, CASA, Greater Lakes Child Advocacy Center, uh, which was a new one, and then the Pines Community page Center, 13. page 13. <laughs> You don't have page 13? I have a page 13, but it's PD. You, you must have the one that you just want to know. Okay. Is this the, uh, the one on page 15, 15, maybe? I got the one in the book. I think he's trying to pull the wheel over your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't make the deadline for the book, I guess. <laughs> so on page 13, you'll see the uh, the culture and recreation and then the outside agencies that were voted on. But we are at that point where um, the board really should start voting on this budget uh, unless you have changes that you want to make or questions. Um, The um, the only things that have come up so far with the budget committee are just regarding the town hall, um, uh, the ADA uh, consultant, and town hall maintenance and repairs, and and um, outside of that, um, they have um, they've had few questions so far on this particular budget. Can I ask you, um, mm -hmm. I just didn't know if that's the correct number I saw. Um, for line 970 Pines Community Center? 72.5. Yeah, it's over what they requested? No, I think it should be whatever what the request was, was what, the, what we approved. It should have been 72.250. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. that is a typo. Thank you. Same with youth assistance. Mm -hmm. I I believe that's what was uh, five, five, approved. Five hundred. I took it from the minutes. Oh. Um, I'll I will um, I can double check that. This came from uh, the minutes of their meeting where they had voted on these. Says forty five thousand five fifty two. That's oh, what's in see, that's what's in the minutes. What's in there. Okay, I see. Okay. So uh uh, now a few other um, a few other adjustments that were made uh, in your manifest this week. All the software had come through from uh, Avatar, uh, so I made some adjustments. But the the bottom line is still the same. Uh, the bottom line didn't change. They were up a little bit on one, down a little bit on another. Um, so I had to uh, adjust my numbers a little bit, but um, but I wanted the actuals to show in here so that you that people could see what we're paying for assessing or clerk and so on and so forth. So uh, as this stands, uh, we're still looking at about, a, you know, when you factor out the encumbrances from 21 to 22, if you looked at, at the approved budgets, we're up 2.2%, which I think is pretty respectable. You know, considering um, 
considering the inflationary time that we're in. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, we have a lot of new personnel. A lot of new personnel is oftentimes um, at a lower rate. Um, and uh, and also there's uh, absence of a position also um, uh, in this budget. Several positions or no nope. positions? No, just uh, in terms of the uh, PD command. Um, so in any event, um, so I would recommend uh, and you want to go through the budget itself or you want to go through the Warren articles, uh, discuss the Warren articles, uh, which are on the back, uh, the very back page. You want to go through either one of those. I think the board should start uh, voting on this uh, tonight if possible. Selectman like Constantino. What did you end up with merit raise to what percent? Uh, we are in at 3%. Yep. I'm just going to verify that. Yep. I think um, vote on the make a motion that we accept the administrative budget. Ruggles second. Motion to second discussion. Mr. Jessamine. I uh, accept the police department the way to we have it. Command officers figured into that figure, right? There's a lieutenant. There are three positions open lieutenant, detective, and patrol. Correct. So, um, what's the chances of realistically funding or uh, finding a lieutenant in the next 12 months? Uh, I believe good. I, I believe the plan is uh, to promote someone. I think that's the most likely scenario and uh, that he'll be filling patrol as uh, people are moving into other positions, um, detective, sergeant, or, or lieutenant. What's the time frame? Uh, no, I, I believe it's sooner than that, but uh, I'm glad you brought that up because um, uh, what we did last year was we staggered them, uh, the, the hires, and we still ended up with because we weren't able to hire uh, a lot Chairman, of. If I can just, oh, I'm sorry. I think we're on the administrative we're on budget. budget. Oh, yeah, so that's correct for the PD somewhere. budget. Yeah. yeah. I take it back then. I'll ask my yeah. question. But I, and I will, I do have something to say on it. So, yeah. yeah. So good. Sorry. No. There's a motion. Yes, motion. So, discussion on the administrative budget. May I just ask the question? That's seven hundred forty thousand four hundred sixty-three dollars. Four hundred sixty-three dollars. Yeah. The bombing. Hearing no further discussion, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. Uh, uh, clerk. So I'll make a motion to accept the town clerk tax, tax collector budget request at one hundred and thirty five thousand nine hundred and sixty seven dollars. Captain and second. Motion and a second. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And Selectman Constantino abstains. Make a motion that we accept the finance budget for $138,704. Ruggles second. Oh. Motion and second discussion. Do we want to include the long term and debt in, in that motion as well, or do you want to make a separate? We'll do a separate. Separate, separate, separate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hearing no further discussion, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 
I'll make a motion to accept the long-term debt request of $425,311. Second. Motion and second. Discussion. Um, could you explain that line for uh, the people at home? Sure. So the, uh, the debt that the town currently has is comprised of the consolidated sewer debt and then also the new bond for the police station. And this is the this is the year where we're paying the full amount for the police station bond, uh, where we've stepped into it in prior years. So there is um, of the principal, um, 180 almost 184,000 is for the police station, and 91,000 for the sewer debt, and for the interest, it's uh, split 78,000 for the uh, police station and 72,000 for sewer debt. For a total of 425. Thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion to accept the long term debt request for 2023, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay. Mr. Aye. Byron. Aye. Thank you. It's okay. I'll make a motion to accept uh, the IT department request of $104,632. Second. Motion and second. Discussion. Yeah. Did we already get the printer? You mean the copier? No, we have not. No. Okay. That's not included. That's not in here. Okay, got no. Yes, Mr. Jessen. Uh, my question is with regard to the amount we spent for economic development. Um, are there more invoices coming or didn't get to part of it? Seems like there was a lot of money left on the table. Is that in the IT budget line? Well, we were on, we're on IT. Yeah, on IT. We're going to write down that. Okay. I got you. Don't worry. That's why we're here. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay. We'll t when we get there, okay, we've got PD. You've got a PD question. Yeah, yeah. yeah and you've got the e funny. econ development question. I got it. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. <clears throat> so, uh, any further discussion? All those in favor of approving the um, IT budget request for 2023, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the land use budget request of $152,701. Second. Motion and a second. Discussion. This is where the economic development question comes in. Uh -huh. Econ development right. question. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, we budgeted $15,000. We spent $7,200. Um, we're budgeting 15000 again. Uh, do we have projects and plans that would uh, uh, use that money up? Yes. What would they be? So um, the overall plan for the, um, I think, the, well, I know that this board has seen the economic development plan developed by the committee <laughs> is this idea of revitalizing the downtown from park to park. So we're looking at the crosswalk from Winter Street to Riverfront Park. We're looking at the uh, their uh, sidewalk ends at the end of Riverfront Park, and then there's no sidewalk until it picks up where the new fence is. So that piece there, we're going to make that sidewalk that requires survey plans. It requires engineering plans. So that that those funds will get eaten up very quickly um, good. and i think correct me if i'm wrong i think correct me if i'm wrong Jeannie, that when we look at two knowing that we will want to put some planters out on main street yes so with the, the change that's taking place there and so i, I would just say that that uh, that number is um, my expectation is it would be grant funding to match or to make up because that's not going to cover everything that's going to be done in the next year. As an example, um, you'll see in my report 
I wrote a grant for T-Mobile um, to do the improvements to near timetable T-Mobile. That's forty-nine thousand. And there's no match to that. So these these improvements cost money. Yeah. So it's essentially uh, it's seed money. I had that grant. I paid them enough for my cell service over the years. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how that goes. Sorry. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> I will. Um, any other questions on land use? All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Uh, I'll make a motion to accept uh, the police department. Uh, Department budget request of two million one hundred and fifty nine thousand eight hundred and eight dollars. Motion and second discussion. Uh, yeah. About that lieutenant's position. Yes. So uh, so I've actually um, uh, as you may recall, we have a warrant article uh, for officers uh, wages. And uh, looking at the budget, what I thought was, as we are moving into this year, before we get to town meeting, as we're accumulating um, savings, so if we haven't hired those three positions this week, next week, the following week, we're accumulating uh, that amount that can be reduced from the budget at town meeting, you know, until such, you know, until those people are hired or put into those positions. And uh, and I thought that that um, while that that could be adjusted prior to town meeting, it might be a little hard to follow for people. So you know if it's adjusted once at the end of January and then at some other point uh, because we need to have a printed budget in the town report. So it makes to me makes more sense that at town meeting we would make any kind of offsetting reduction. And I think that might also help justify uh, the Warren article for the uh, the wage increases, um, you know, at that time, so, or maybe make it more palatable. Um, so uh, I have calculated, and I I um, I don't have for you tonight what that is on a on a weekly basis, but I do have it broken out, and I'm working on the run rate for each of the departments, you know, what the cost is on a weekly basis. Um, so I'll have that for you uh, so shortly. We can make a motion to reduce that particular line item uh, by whatever amount is we saved up until that point. Right, officers' wages. Yep, and um, uh, for that matter, health insurance, retirement, taxes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Selectman Pyra. Aye. Thank you. I'll make a motion to accept the Public Works Department <clears throat> Department budget request of seven hundred forty-one thousand and ninety-six dollars. Second. Motion and second discussion. Yes, Mr. Salton Sand budget. We should be considerably under budget at this point. Yes. No. Uh, well, the well, hopefully, but the and we started out with um, a good amount in the in reserve. However, uh, the rate um, at which we buy it increased considerably. So, uh, in fact, I think there's a note in here uh, of the increase. Yeah, so uh, we went from $74 a ton in 22. We're now paying $88 a ton in 23. <clears throat> so, um, and that's on uh, the middle of page 9 um, under 4312.700 highway uh, winter salt and sand. So, I think... I think we're okay, and and of course, um, if for some reason, uh, you know, we we benefit from additional weather that doesn't require it, um, you know, we'll be in better shape at the end of the year, and he won't have to fill his his stockpile uh, at the end of the year. So, 
but he's uh, he's pretty confident about uh, his numbers. He's very careful about that. Any further discussion? All those in favor of accepting the public works <coughs> requested budget, please indicate by saying aye. 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 I'll make a motion to accept uh, the same occasion uh, budget request of $560,600. Second. A motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 I'd just like to make a note that um, if you happen to look at the Pinard invoice in your um, payables that the the cost to dispose of recycling for December was one hundred fifty seven thousand and eleven dollars per ton. So um, it was considerable. Um, so I just you know uh, as you look at the decision to go away from curbside collection and single stream recycling, um, it's almost double what we were paying for tipping fees in uh, actually more than double what we paid for tipping fees in uh, December uh, to wheel Brader. I just want to make that note uh, in case you take a look at that. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to accept the Health and Welfare Department request of $96,055. Second. Motion, motion and a second discussion. What went down on this? Is this going down? I know it's just a bit vision of it, but is this really? Uh, so we reduced uh, animal control um, oh, based on the experience, um, uh, the amount of activity, and then uh, a few other minor adjustments. Hearing no other discussion, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 <clears throat> I'll make a motion to accept the Culture and Recreation Department request of $199,821. Second. Motion and second discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 So did you want to uh, vote individually on these outside agencies? Or? Yeah, I, I think we can go from probably the thing that please most uh, input and also most. Right. Um, Eric, if you didn't hear that, we're on outside agencies and uh, we're going to go individually on each one. I'll do that. Okay. I'm going to make a motion that we accept the request from um, Lakes Region Planning for $4,155. Oh. Is that, that, that came in. We have we didn't see so it must have come in recently. Uh, it's uh, it was just a um, uh, an invoice actually, motion an invoice to, request. Okay. Yeah. We'll, I'm sure we'll see. Okay. Yep. Motion and second discussion. <coughs> All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 I will make a motion that we do not fund Lakes Region Mental Health, uh, New Beginnings, Future Insight, CASA, or the Greater Lakes Child Advocacy Center, and the Red Cross. I'll second that. Motion and second. Discussion. Yeah, second what is the can I ask a question? Go ahead. Yeah. 
what is the Greater Lakes Child Advocate Center? Is that new? CASA. No, no, no that's, that's different. New, that was a different one. That was a new. Um, that was a new a new center in this year. Um, that's my easiest way to explain it because they presented to us. Um, they they help the they help with some of the domestic difficulty situations with children and getting children counseling, et cetera. Okay. So from CASA, it's not CASA. So they're the child advocates in um, significant situations that occur. Thank you. Where are they at? Uh, they're located in Laconia. They're out of Laconia. What was the reason for not funding it? Um, it, it was new to us from the budget committee. We, we understood that there's, you know, there's a small need in the community, but we had also looked at their outside funding as being fairly significant and their balance, their balance that they carried was fairly significant as well. Um, so, you know, it, very honestly, we didn't see the, the, the budget committee didn't see the, um, re really the need to, to, to carry this one this year. So I think they'll come back to us next year. Jeannie. Question. Um, if I'm reading this right, uh, New Beginnings and Future Insight didn't put in a request, did they? they their, their request, it, yes, they were there. I can oh, actually pull they were, it up. I, I believe here. so. I, mean, I, I didn't actually I see zero. So yeah, I didn't have those. As well as the Red Cross, those. Yeah, they may not. No, as I look at the ones that we have, I don't. Red no, Cross in the past has put in, but never collected it. Right, I'm not yeah. questioning what yeah. I'm just saying, do you need to vote on something that where there was no request? Oh, that's right. all. Oh, yeah. Because I, got it. I don't see. No, I'm, I'm going through the scan file right now. There were not. I don't have yeah, I didn't, I didn't see any, didn't any for those. Future insight. Yeah. And yeah. Red Cross, correct. Are they didn't request any. No, I don't have I don't have any files. Mm -hmm. um, did the budget committee meet with our welfare director or discuss any of these as to you know who has been assisting? We did not meet we have not met with the welfare director yet. Uh, in front of us was Youth Assistance uh, Community Action with Visiting Nurses, um, CASA came in front of us, Pines was in front of us. So they all came in. Lakes Region Mental Health was in. <coughs> Call a question. Question has been called. Oh, I guess I was just trying to understand. Do you need to back those three out if they, if they didn't ask for anything? There, there was yeah. no request for those three: New Beginnings, Future Insight, and Red Cross. Well, if they well, they didn't ask, so I, I guess it's one way or the other. It doesn't matter. Right? Think okay. Well, so, and, and in fact, um, in the case something pops up. I think the only reason why they're here is that in the uh, three-year average, there was you know, prior. So uh, in order to, for that bottom line number for the outside agencies for the three years, um, they show up. But for that matter, uh, I will probably remove anything that had a zero department request um, from the actual, you know, the printed report since it's uh, not relevant. Question has been called. All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 The motion passes. Okay, so that was Lakes Region Mental aye. Health, New Beginnings, New Beginnings Future Insight, Red Cross, CASA, Greater Lakes, Greater Lakes, Lakes and, and, and Red Cross. Yep, Children's got them all. Yep. Yep, yeah, six. Six. Okay, I got them.
make a motion that we fund the Pines Community Center for $72,250. Level second. Discussion. Um, I, I can, I think I brought this to the board before, but just um, as we discussed as budget committee um, going forward is that we're, we think we're going to, we should probably have a, a, a fairly prudent discussion with the Pines because of the percentage of use of Tilton residents versus um, residents from other, from, the, from Northfield and from outside communities. Um, it's, it's much, much lower. I want to say that the, over the years. Just even just in last year, using last year's number alone, but the last three or four years, we've had a significantly lower percentage of participants from Tilton in all of their programming over there. It's it's no more than like 29% of uh, the number of people using the programs are from Tilton. Mm -hmm. So it begs the question, um, not, and again, not that we don't support the plans, but with the amount of money that we're putting in, which is, which is equivalent to Northfield that, you know, do we need to look and sort of think about, you know, um, you know, taking a look and do we do is it, is it appropriate to pair back a little bit with less people from the, the Tilton community using the services at the Pines? So um, maybe find out some interest that maybe our community has. Yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah. you know, and, and whether you know whether there might be able to do programs over on this side of the river in some of the facilities that we have, etc. So. That I think would, there's a lot more activity going to San Bernardino. So there's, I, I know that there are a lot of, um, that there are a lot of folks, especially at the, at, on the north end of the of town mm -hmm. with kids, because it's easier to yeah, get quicker to get to San Bernardino. So, yeah. Right. So, and, and San Bernardino only charges $5 extra if you're out of town. So, right. Yeah. So, um, so it's just, but just so you know that it's a question and it's, it's to make sure we continue to support them, but are we supporting them appropriately in terms of the, the, the you know, the dollar cost benefit, so to speak. So. Mm. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Um, any uh, any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 We're going to make a motion that we fund the summer concert for two thousand dollars. Rebel second. Motion and second. Discussion. All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 I do have a question on that. Uh, I've I've been wondering whether um, uh, because it's really a cultural item. Uh, if the town wouldn't be willing, whether or not it's uh, through uh, through Titus or otherwise, if the town wouldn't be spending two thousand dollars a year on concerts, and that it should just be moved up into the culture and recreation area rather than requiring them to provide a PNL and so on and so forth. In other words, it becomes um, you know money that would be spent on concerts. Uh, to be held in town, um, hopefully by you know the current group um, mm -hmm. as it's been doing. But that way, because uh, it seems to be problematic, um, you know uh, the organization sometimes getting information and so on and so forth. Um, so there was just an idea moving it up into the culture and recreation area and sort of taking it out of the uh, the whole moniker of an outside agency. Except for that, it is the Hartwell concert series that, and they've been, you know, running it and doing that. I, you know, if it, if well, we change up to our, you know, departments and. Yeah, so I, I guess what I'm thinking is that um, that the town is dedicating a certain amount to to music. So if if they weren't in existence, then maybe the two thousand would be spent on bands at right. uh, Summerfest or you know something downtown. In other words, that it. it um, that they um, become they become the provider as chosen by the board, but that the town is allocating a certain amount for um, music, you know, during the summer. So it was just an idea. I um, the dynamic <clears throat> uh, in the last year, two years, and. Uh, 
Pettis was good enough to, you know, keep after it and put it together, but that's not a long-term situation. It's not realistic. So um, if we're going to continue to do concerts, um, and we can, you know, if we do the concerts, we can still do the part well. That's kind of mm -hmm. what it has yeah. always been. But um, I, I don't disagree with Tails. I think I, I think too, and we I don't I don't want to use the term casually, sort of loosely, but I think we've also talked about, and I know that Joe and I talking with Titus over the summer. We're wondering if it would be worthwhile to be able to put a committee together to be able to handle it because it's such a you know it's it's mm. such a part of the community that's mm. been intertwined with the community for a long time that if we were to put a committee together mm. you get that you know that it it, it, it takes that onus off of, right. of titus keeps the name on it keeps the concert yeah. series going but then we've got the direct literal physical here in the municipality investment in it I agree. Um, so i think it's something that I don't think we need to take it up now, but I think we right. can take it up, talk to Titus about it, his feelings on it, and then, you know, if we see that as a route to go, that having a committee approved by the board would be good. If so. that happens, more reason to put it into culture. Correct. Well, so uh, would the board like to vote to move that into culture and recreation then? So I'll make a motion to uh, move the summer concert series um, line into the culture and recreation. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Very super. Okay. Thank you. Um, I will make a motion that we fund community action program for $8,300. Rebel second. Motion and a second discussion. All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Yeah, Frank, when does the nurses and you, um, youth, youth assistance. assistance. I, I would like to make a motion that we fund Franklin visiting nurses for $12,572. Motion and second discussion. This this organization is extremely vital to the care of not only our seniors but our people that residents that have long term, short term surgeries and home care. Um, they do an awful lot of programming at the senior center. They do an awful lot of uh, advocacy programs throughout our town. We get a huge bang for the buck with Franklin visiting nurses. Um, for the money for $12,572, if you divide it between all of our residents, it's short money for the care that we get. Uh, and they're always there helping us. So I can pick up the phone and say, I've got a senior up here. Can you just check on her? And they're right there. So. Uh, their service is second to none in this community. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. Use assistance as well. I'll make a motion to was the like did we i'm sorry before we do this did we determine that the request was for hold on that's what yeah, i you, should, you, it was 47 yeah, he, he 540. well the budget committee had approved the at least that was which was in your minutes 45. yeah okay i will just on their 2023 application is 47,540. So our approval was 45,52. Why the difference? I, I can honestly tell you, I don't I don't know if I was at that one because I there was one I missed. I think that was the one that I missed. So, okay. 
pretty sure. Can we uh, table that one? Sure. And I then I can go back and look at the yeah the, um, video of, if you know which one it is from there. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, I, okay. I'll uh, yeah. Let's let's table the youth assistance until we get the until we find out okay. exactly what the, what we did a budget here. So I guess that's a motion to table. Yeah, um, uh, motion to table the um, youth assistance program uh, budget request for 2023. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 So, uh, so let me just, aye. yes, so let me just, I'm just gonna run down these, uh, make sure mm -hmm. that I have them all correct. So I have 4155 for Lakes Region Planning, zero for Lakes Region Mental Health, tabled youth assistance, community action, 8300, Franklin Visiting Nurses, 12572. And then the next one funded is Pines Community Center at 72250. And then uh, summer concerts, which will move to culture and recreation, was approved for 2000. All right. So uh, would you like to move on to the uh, warrant articles? On the very last page. Sure. I'll read. So, <laughs> so just uh, refreshing your memory, the the Caliph Hill engineering costs. This would be a warrant article to uh, really put it uh, put the option to the town um, whether or not uh, they want to move forward with this. So this would uh, this would pay for the engineering costs that will be reimbursed by the state. Um, but it doesn't uh, put us in a position where we're out of pocket. And it also becomes a proxy for the entire project uh, by town to pe by the people at uh, the legislative session. The road, streets, bridges, sidewalks, uh, we talked uh, previously about that, the 75,000, and uh, Director Duval felt, felt very comfortable with that being slightly reduced. Uh, highway equipment, he was uh, very, secure in the amount of money that he had set aside. Um, so adding 10,000 there, the island was adding the same amount as last year, 10,000. Revaluation is uh, the amount required so that when we get to the last year of the contract, we have enough, which is in 24. Improving and maintaining lakes was re requested by the Conservation Commission in the same amount, 5,000. Uh, senior Center was requested by Senior Executive Committee, 2,500. The CBA wage increase um, that would run from uh, that would run to June 30th uh, was 48,822, and then um, had the a cruiser which had been discussed previously is, is not listed here. We are anticipating that the majority of a cruiser will be able to be purchased with uh, forfeiture funds that are in process of being released. About half of it. A little more than half is is very close to being released to us right now, and then the other half may take a little longer, but um, doesn't seem to move very quickly. Uh, but still, um, and the the chief is fine with that. The new Warren article uh, for a new capital reserve would be for a town structure or some other name that would uh, that would permit the ability to. Um, uh, to handle roofs, you know, major systems within buildings um, that uh, would be the selectmen would be the agents for the fund. So whether that turns out to be a boiler, air handling, um, roof, um, whatever else needs to be done, um, that would be something that could then uh, add up over time. The bridge bond, uh, so this is the, the $1 million It'll be listed as $1 million bond, $500,000 uh, to be um, borrowed, and $500,000, it would be contingent on $500,000 award through the grant that Jeannie is working on. And uh, that wouldn't be until the fall of 23. So because of the timing, there would be no cost uh, to this in 23 at all. Uh, any bond would kick in in 24. Uh, would be the first payment even if it's funded in 23 the first payment would be due in 24 and just as an example uh, from the new hampshire municipal bond bank a 10 year would be about 75,000 a year or 11 cents and of course all these uh, tax rate impacts these are all based off of 
the um, our equalized value for 22, which is listed there at 657 million. So, uh, so any event, um, um, I know that Jeannie is currently working on the Warren articles themselves, but um, are there any changes that the board would like to make to any of these amounts or warrant articles? Lots I'd love to make, but we can't. We just can't do it. We've you know, been through them all, and you've been doing a lot of due diligence on this. And I know Kevin's trimmed his back as much as he could, and we've been just going over it. And, yep. So I, I can't see anything Okay. that we can do. So, uh, Jeannie, are you fine with uh, just a consensus so that as we move forward on these? Yeah. I guess yeah. consent, I would you like to vote I, on these or I, no, I think consensus is fine, but I I'm going to renew my objection to the town road repair and reconstruction. Seventy five thousand dollars when we consistently put in an amount which that they've been prepared to do. We have roads that need repair that we haven't done. And I know that they need that to be done. I'm just, I, I understand his thought process and I applaud him for not wanting to, you know, put in what only what he needs to do. But there are some roads, particularly Morrison, that need significant uh, road work, drainage, everything. They're Grand Street significant. I mean, there, there's, and we need to catch up with that. And we can't do that with 75 when we're used to be putting in 90. And I just, I just don't get, it. but that's me. And I understand that the board already said, yeah, okay, that's fine. And I'm good. With it. I, I just think that for 10 years, we go 90 and then one year we go 75. And we're going to catch ourselves. I, I don't. I don't disagree with you, Pat. I think. I think in our discussions, in our discussions with Kevin, one of the hitches right now becomes the water district. Mm -hmm. Because I, is you know the question becomes: Is the water district ready to go in and do that work? Because I know that as, right. as we heard from him, he hesitates now, and he's also disseminated information to them that. That, that nothing was done with and I will say that in public because it wasn't done with it and then we've got people in the water district who are throwing our DPW director under the bus on our paving projects mm -hmm. saying that that it wasn't communicated when they were but we know for the fact that in November 21 he had sent I think it was it might have been August 21 that he had sent his road projects right. out to them that's right and then he then he cc'd us again when he did it again so I think there it needs to be coming at a point at a point in time. We've got to have a discussion with the water district that they need to get in line and let us know when they're going to get in under these questionable roads, get the work done, so that we can then have our DPW director, who we know is on top of his game, get in and take care mm -hmm. of those roads like like Morrison. I mean, it's the reason that we weren't able to complete, you know, the upper yeah, half of right. yeah, the upper half of of uh, Prospect, et cetera. Right. So, well, uh, so the the difference of the fifteen thousand works out to be about two and a half cents on on the tax rate how you calculate it here. Right. So I would say if the issue is one of um, you know reinforcing for townspeople that you know that every year we put in ninety thousand, then I would I would say move it back up to ninety thousand. Um, it's two Just and a half it, cents. Keep it, keep it consistent. Well, there's going to come a time when we say to the water companies, you know, come on, let's do something. And then all of a sudden they do it. And we don't have the money yeah. to follow through on ours. And and even though he's on top of it, ready to do it, and then we've got all these rows that they're ready to do. And, the, you know, we haven't been putting the money away. So, I mean, there's a catch-22 there. I just want to be prepared so that we have that in there to say, okay, we've got those roads. It's not just these couple of roads that they're lacking on. There's a lot of roads out there. And I, I don't think Kevin would object to putting more money in. It's just he was trying to be really prudent. Right. And, I, I and, get it. 
spending, you know, putting aside his, his you know, what he needed and no more. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I think I echo the thoughts of the board that we appreciate, everyone appreciates yeah. that. But I also oh. think that we have, you know, that, that we have a voting body who's, who's used to that $90,000 number um, and they know the reasons behind it. So, right. um, you know, which that, line is that? So it's on the very last page. It's the second line down, road, streets, bridges, sidewalks, under the suggested warrant articles. On page On the very page back. Yes, the very back, yeah. That's not in this budget. Right. So these are the warrant articles. So uh, with that said, then the, the total of the suggested warrant articles, including the new warrant article for uh, the town infrastructure um, buildings, would be $295,322. So that would be increasing the 260, 322 by 15,000 to bring up road streets, bridges to $90,000. And then that's adding in the $20,000 for the infrastructure. So if you'd like to make a motion on the 295, 322, that would incorporate that top section and then the first town structure. Uh, keeping in mind that the bond, the bridge bond, uh, there would be no uh, financial impact in 2023. Wouldn't we be voting on those when the articles were presented as uh, recommended or unrecommended? Uh, absolutely, you can so, you can wait to yeah. do that if you prefer to do no, that. Give a consensus, but I, I can't see. Right, you I know, think for now we needed just a consensus, at least the the amount you want to put in the warrant article, and then we just vote to recommend. Okay. That's fine. Warrant article, yeah, yeah. That's what, however you like to do it. So do we have a consensus on the, the total of 295,322? Uh, yes. Yes. I'm, I'm in on that. Yep. Yes. Yes. Great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So um, I will have, uh, I will send you out uh, copies and uh, with the, the corrections and, and uh, updates and we'll go from there. Now right. we know what Patricia does with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so most of your work's done. Oh, <laughs> for, yeah. yeah. One. Good one. Yeah, that is a, that is, Good one. That is a very loaded <laughs> question, Mr. Scanlon. Yeah. Very loaded question. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Terry. you. Uh, our next order of business will discuss um, the situation with the parking at the 1875 Inn. So, um, as we've outlined in a couple of meetings before, and a couple of citizens have brought to our, our citizens brought to our attention um, the situation with the parking in front of uh, the Inn and Onions uh, Pub and Restaurant. Um, as a board, we've been briefed on. Um, um, yes, sir. I have a question on that. We were told that somebody may want to start a lawsuit against us for that. Is this something that we discuss? Um, that's a we got advice from an attorney. Do we share that? I mean, is, is it legal? Is it non-public? Somebody did say that they want to take action against us for it, and they were going to call the attorney general's office and all that. I don't know if we're discussing that portion of it. We're just, I think what we're trying to look at, John, is if if it comes through from the, the email, which, um, which outlined with RSA um, 4111 about the selectman having the authority, uh, you know, that, that that having the authority to take a look at or you know look okay. over the use okay. of public That's walkways awesome. and stuff like that. Just so, being cautious. Yeah, no, yeah. Under, understand. Okay. Understand. Do we have a copy of that? Did you print it? What the the attorney um, I sent, dialogue? I sent you all. I know you sent it, but you didn't. Did yeah. you print it? Okay, never mind. I'll get it on the phone. But I, I have it here. I have I, I'm fine with that. I just didn't. I just wanted to. The most recent one Pat was sent yesterday at 4:30. Yeah, you should have in your packet. Oh yeah, I read yep, it. Yep, yep. I read it. I just wanted to. But the RSA. Oh, the RSA. Okay. That should be the packet. I certainly can read it out loud if you want me to. No. Um, <coughs> Basically, the attorney, our town attorney, is saying you have the authority to do what you want. Um, 
with with that. Um, you have the authority to make that decision on your own agenda. Did the prior selectmen have made in the past? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and just reading in the email, RSA 4717. Uh, section 18 states that city council shall have the authority to adopt such bylaws and ordinances as are necessary to control parking. And that comes after. Which is also the authority to select that. Correct. Yeah. So are we going to change something or no? Status quo as it is. I say status quo. Status quo. I, I, my, my only, my only friction point is it says that that people parking there would be towed on the on the signs that are there that were put up. That that's to me to me that's the. I, and and I know that we've got the historic evidence that it says it says has said in parking only on the buildings all of that stuff. My my issue with the current signage is that it that it I'm going to use the term that it threatens that people will be towed. Which if we've got if we have spots that are owned by the town, I don't think that a private business who we want to sort of allocate the spots to at least that's my feel should be allowed to put up the fact that they'd be able to tow people. Because technically they're public spots, but we are going to give them to them. So very honestly, even if you just covered over the, the being towed piece, that to, and that that's just me. That's that's you know, and and I understand the need to, and I understand that um, the ability of councils and select boards to be able to allocate these public spaces, sidewalks, parking spaces, you know, pieces of road, etc. Um, for the good, the the economic good, and the example that um, that um, attorney Radigan gave us is up in Berlin. They're going through it with a pizza place on one of their streets up there. Um, so you know, I I want to I want to foster the ability for that business to do it. I just worry about the fact that um, you know there's a, there's a threat of being towed, and we've got other spots and other parking areas, but there's no it doesn't say violators will be towed. So what would happen if if what would happen? Right now, if people park in those spots next to the fire station, is there we allocated six spaces to the? That's a good question. You know what would happen? Would we tow them with the town? Would they call the PD? Would the PD say you're not supposed to be there because these are these are allocated to the fire department? We allocated them to the fire department. Would the PD tow them? I mean. That's a legitimate that's a good, question that's a because question. we gave them to the exclusive use. Exclusive yeah. use. So if you give them exclusive use, whether it says all of this, you know, told or not, on the sign, I mean, we could say, hey, would you take them? The police still know that these are exclusive use of the end, mm -hmm. period. So if they, somebody says, this, you know, called, Call and say, look, these are exclusive use for the inn, and they call the police. Now we're using extra resources, and we're calling our police, and now the police got to take care of them, and now the police will call. Them. So we have, I don't know, it's a catch 22 there's because a, we've done it down there, and now we have it up here. I say status quo. And I get where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. I really do. I, it's, but it's, it's been it, this way for a long time. I've never heard it come up for once. Ever heard it come yeah. up ever. Well, and it, as we know, because we saw we saw the pictures from almost four from forty years ago now. Those ones from the eighties, where on the front of on the, yeah. the the bottom of the porch, it said, you know, it said uh, right. it said in parking only. So. And I think it goes back. I, I remember to take a couple of the pictures that we saw from the historic society go back further than that. So, back in the seventies. Yeah. Um, um, so, Mr. Pyra, anything? Yeah, I mean, 
all the all the <clears throat> proof that we have shows in parking only, but it doesn't mention anything about towing. And, and towing is a change from what kind of was agreed to. And I, I don't think the the towing part should be on the signs. So how would that be enforced then? We give them exclusive use and if they don't have the exclusive use, how, what would be the enforcement method? What's the enforcement method now, John? They, they, they could, could they be towed, they could tow. They could, person. do they tow? I haven't heard of anybody yet. Um, he told they expressed to me that he never had anybody towed. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to be threatened. Right. Um, if they covered up the, the part, and I question whether he can tow somebody from a town owned parking place anyway, but that's a mm -hmm. separate issue altogether. Mm -hmm. um, if they just covered up the will be towed part, they still have it. The sign is right there. Parking for it, it's open in. Um, which goes back to the history, which goes back to the historic sign too. Because I, I mean, I remember distinctly on the building, nowhere did it say you will be towed, but it's, it said in parking only. So. Can I just ask a question? Yes, ma'am. You have to come up to the microphone because if not, Gail will. So. In, uh, and because, and so uh, that Eric selectman selectman, selectman Pyra, Pyra, Pyra who is that's okay uh, yeah right here right here Sandy. Oh, right okay. in a very comfortable chair mm -hmm. <laughs> chairs I just want to ask one question um, when it comes to the signs that's out there now the sign is giving somewhat like to public an authority that they can tow if they do what they're not supposed to do. But if you take that away, then who's going to come and tow the truck? Because where is it written anywhere? And the person would be able to turn around and sue because, he, well, I didn't know they were going to tow my car. But right now it says on there, if you're parked here and you're not, this isn't our business, then we have the ability to tow. Maybe they've never towed anyone and maybe they never would, but it's there if they ever need it. You know, just showing that the person that's parking there, well, if I park here and I don't, I'm not going to eat, I'm going downtown to shop, then it's my problem if I get towed. I mean, that's the only thing I would add. Because it does state right on the face and it gives the customer the idea of what could happen. I mean, even if it never does. And I don't think, I don't know of any history of anyone ever being towed from over there, but but it does give them that authority should they need it. Or at least it's warning the public it could happen. I, I think the, and I very much appreciate your point. I think the issue is, is that the town, the town, we, we gave them the ability to, to have exclusive parking. But right. From what we've seen, we didn't give them the ability to be able to tow. So. Uh, that's correct, but maybe what happened, because this happened after, just shortly after I left, mm -hmm. but. Um, maybe what happened is just having the signs out there for uh, restaurant business only, maybe that people just, eh, so what, I'm going to park here anyway. You know, there was no incentive for them not to park there if they weren't going to use the restaurant. That's all I'm saying. That might be why the, the signs got changed. Because I know for a while he did have trouble with the parking filling up and they weren't eating in his restaurant. Right. So go ahead. I would sure. point out that every business on Main Street is in the same boat. Oh, I know, I know. I was and not necessarily <laughs> in favor of, you know, issuing parking for business, but mm -hmm. I do understand. And we've dealt with it for years, all up and down Main Street. And we have parking problems, I get it. Yes. And yeah. he has a parking problem. I get that. Yeah. He's also, but that that business also now has more parking because they do have the property down the street that they acquired. Yeah. So, and I know that it's a, li I know that it's a little distance away, but well, it's for that building too. So, right. So you can't say that that parcel. And people do see that parcel. the big parking lot down at the end that used to be the yeah, banks. That's, 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 that's the 
So you have to park by permit. permit. So it doesn't have the same. But then that's just how it's hard to show you. Oh, yeah. Wait. He, he uh, went to site plan. That's all I had. <laughs> um, so yeah. I, the parking down in, out front here, is that a time limit on that? Yeah. 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 What? Wait. No, right over here. At onions. Onions. Oh, at Onions? No. Oh, at Onions, no. No, no it, there's no limit. They can, their guests can park overnight. Yeah, they do park right. overnight. So, no, there's no overnight parking right in now. front of that building. No, we allowed them to park up here at yeah. municipal parking up there. But there's no overnight parking. So if I was commuting to work and I want to park my car and three other people want to, that's the one place where you could park your car at the curb all day long until midnight to 6 a.m. Leave your car there and commute to work for the day or in be gone. Of, in front of onions? In front of onions. No, because there's no overnight parking in no, the downtown I'm, I'm saying, area all day commute to work you know I, right somebody picks me so up and brings me to work so it's not and there's like nothing they could do about it yeah right. we can't ticket them and if you take the towing away you can't tow them one of the issues was, and then that would have to go for right. the fire station too one of the issues were not just downtown but in our municipal parking we weren't Clear, we weren't clear on our signage, if you remember, and the police asked us to be very specific on our signage mm -hmm. because they couldn't enforce it. So a lot of that gener a lot of that is generated from there because the police couldn't enforce mm -hmm. some of Something the signage. Is not if it's not posted, mm -hmm. you can't enforce it. A lot of our, you know, 30 minute parking, they had to be very specific. That's why we changed all of the signages here. So is the system broken? Is, I don't think the system. Or what are we trying to fix something I, that's I, working? Yeah, I think leave it alone because it, this the the police can enforce something that's there, but they can't enforce something that's not there. You can't enforce it if it's not written there. What? Nobody's going to know that if it's not it's exclusive it, unless. They go back to town hall and say, oh, yeah, that's right. It, it's inclusive rights to onions out there. How are they going to know that? So the only other thing we could do is take the tow thing off and put subject to $100 fine or something or something like that. And then it could Aren't be. Aren't you doing the same thing? Except your car's gone instead of your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> except, except, exactly. Except, except the money goes to us and not to the total. <laughs> except you can True. drive to the bank. Right. To get it the comes money back is, to the town instead of the. Yeah, the, the money goes to us instead of the tow company. Instead of the tow company. I, I get it. <laughs> it's got to be a solution. So Well, it's a, there's a conundrum for every small town in New England. Mm -hmm. I mean, as we know that we've got a the city up north that's dealing with it right now. Well, will we all agree on status quo and on an inclusive right, exclusive rights? Mm. We need to figure out to leave the towing sign up or not, and perhaps maybe you can just have another discussion with John and, and see if what he recommends to do. That would be my suggestion. Or talk to Alan. Or talk to Alan. Of, of chief, it, money, it, yeah. of the chief as well, because can he enforce, you know, first go to the chief, can, can he enforce it when, without the towing sign up, knowing that they're, that they're granted those rights? If they, if they can't, then that answers that question, I guess. You know, and the same thing, we have a spot that we uh, uh, assigned somebody to put a dumpster there. Could somebody park in front of the dumpster all day long and then that guy comes to empty it and said well don't dig for more reasons please dig. <laughs> this, <laughs> and, you know what I, I don't <coughs> the bottom line is we did have the authority to grant that space yeah so. that's the well, bottom line and yeah. then we'll have i think we should just before we make a decision figure out you know what the person we granted the space to how they feel yeah, and we'll, how it work out, and then 
if that's different than talk to the uh, yeah. enforcement. We're, we're halfway there. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah. Well, I would just say in, in having a meeting with Alan, obviously, he would prefer status quo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, I, so if, if we think in terms of previous precedent by the board, we would leave it status quo because it was determined by a previous board that what what is there is fine at this point in time. Oh, if the wording so, says will be told, maybe this can put can be told or may be told. Well, if, if, yeah, if that's that's another option. If this board would like me to, I can always um, have a meeting with Chief Gilman and talk about you know it is a is a citation is is a, is a citation structure structure feasible. You know, I mean, could we cite and, and do that instead? And then, you know, it is, I mean, I can just, I can have the discussion with them if the board would want, or we can just bring it in. Right as we come and sit over here, we talk. Yeah, that's. My head hurts from this discussion. <laughs> it's, let's just keep it simple. It's status quo, not status quo. I mean, it's, we got to come to an agreement. We've already agreed to the status quo. And it's this just, is conversation after the book. No. <laughs> the fact. We're making it never more difficult. Uh -huh. We'll come up in 10 yeah. years again. Yes. Yes. Mr. Pyra, any final thoughts? I'm just waiting for a vote. So I think we're in our discussion, do we even do we need to? Consensus. Yeah, I think it's it, 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 we're looking just at consensus because there was already a prior decision by a board made on it. And so we're we're saying the majority right now are saying stat, that we leave it status quo. Well, <clears throat> I don't agree. I think we should take down the part, the towing part, but I'm not in the majority, so I'll respect the decision of others. Okay. Good. Super. All right. Thanks. So uh, next is the up, update on the Tilton Senior Center storm damage. Selectman Constantino. Me or you? Happy to do it, but it's it's listed as you on here. Yeah. Where it is? Yeah. Where does it say me? Oh, I get my cheat sheet, you know that. So. <laughs> and I need cheat sheets. I mean, I, sure. I can get those. Okay. Just a, you can take what you've done and I can tell you a conversation with you, the insurance company, if that's what you So, doing. from the beginning, the storm hit just so the public. The storm reached the senior center. There was a uh, tree that hit uh, three poles down, um, knocked out the power for a few days. In doing that, it also knocked out the service line to the uh, electric service line from the pole to the uh, senior center, one lead of it. Um, it detached from the pole end. And then the rest of it just kind of laid on top of the metal roof. It didn't affect the, the uh, main panel inside, but it did affect the sub panel, which goes to our kitchen. And it wiped out every appliance we owned, including our furnace and our hot water heater. Um, Coca-Cola would graciously uh, donates a, a commercial refrigerator and it blew out the compressor. That has been, since been replaced. It blew out a, our microwave drawer. Um, that can't be replaced. That was a $1,200 um, item. It blew out the transformer in the uh, Furnace that's been replaced and it's up and running. It blew out the controller in the freezer and the residential refrigerator. Both of those have been replaced at a thousand dollars. And uh, Chris Can came and replaced the transformer and the weight water heater controller. Uh, when he replaced the water heater controller and then found the igniter to be defective and had to order an igniter overnight um, and all of up and working to a tune of I think 1600 some odd dollars. It wiped out our TV and receiver 
um, which included the DVD, which they don't make anymore. We have a quote to replace that. Uh, it wiped out the controller um, that we know of for the dishwasher, but it melted it, but the technician said that for sure that he would um, definitely think that there was other components if they replaced the component, the controller, that there were other components um, wrong with the dishwasher because there was a burnt uh, wires in the back. He couldn't definitively say great things gone, but he could definitively say, I can't guarantee for the $1,400 or $1,300 that this would fix it. Um, so insurance is going to replace the dishwasher for us. Um, Tucker Norman, that's Tucker's brother, electrician, came and checked out the main panel and the sub panel, got that all checked out. Eversource came out, fixed the service line to the building, and then Tucker came back out and made sure everything had proper voltage. He also installed the surge protector at the main I made that decision, so for where that money comes from, it's up to the board tonight, I guess. Um, it was $480, and I think it's well worth spent money at the main panel, so we don't ever have to go through this again. Um, it'll trip that surge protector before it comes into the building. I don't think, so we just have to decide, um, we did get the new microwave. Um, we can't put it in yet. Tucker has to come in and move the um, outlet back a couple of inches because it, even though it's the exact same thing from 2010 to 2022, they made it longer so it bumps the outlet underneath the counter. So he's going to move that. Um, and they, they're going to fill the Refrigerator and freezers back up the food and keep the receipts. Um, we'll pass that along to, to Jeannie. Uh, they, they had just filled the freezer up with a couple of months worth of Wednesday night food. So we have estimates for the dishwasher and we have estimates for um, replacing the TV and receiver and then a Blu ray. To, to accommodate the DVD because they use that all the time for exercise and programs. That's pretty much the, and the executive committee voted last night to purchase a commercial refrigerator. Um, Kevin went up yes, uh, yesterday morning and to see if the counter, the cabinets and the upper cabinets could be moved to the left about four inches, four or five inches, and they could. And so we bought what would accommodate that space. So um, we're going to end up with an advanced code. Hopefully, um, hopefully Tim's going to order that tomorrow. He had a little difficulty ordering it today. That comes out of the senior center donations, which one of which you accepted tonight. And a whirlwind. Well, thank you. And thank everyone down there for their work during this. Mr. Jessman. Uh, well, no, go ahead and finish your thank you, sir. And that was it. Okay. Um, I find it hard to believe that in this day and age, we didn't have a surge protector on that building and cost thousands of dollars as a result. I find it stunning. Uh, GFI plugs and whatever are standard. And let me just, I'm on a roll, John. I want to know that every building that we own has a surge protector. Public works, if the wire comes out on public works, are we out? Everything? Uh, town Hall. I, I don't know if they actually have one on Town Hall, but it seems like real prudent information to. Uh, find out about so that we can correct any potential issues because this is just terrible. 
um, that building is a vital part of our community and have down at all, and especially because of a $400 piece. You know, if we'd have had that, we wouldn't have any of these other issues. We, that, certainly, we certainly have a lot of GFI outlets. The kitchen's brand new, all of that, they all, you know, obviously blew through. And the dishwasher has its own breaker right in the kitchen. And it went right through that. So, my goodness. There was a considerable amount of electricity that went through there with one side gone. I was, it's actually my question, but you had answered it is if there was the plan for a circuit detector before the board. Yeah. So, it, and, but Joe, Joe asked a very good question. So, all the votes. Yeah. I had sent out an estimate to Jeannie, and then when Tucker was there, uh, he had the, the protector on the truck, and I made the decision, and I said, well, if they say no, they say no, but um, I think it's very prudent of us to do it. It's a town building, and it needs to be done at the main coming into the building. I don't, the, the main panel is an old panel. We have new service coming in for that updated service coming into the building because of all of the appliances. I have no idea why previous electricians have not upgraded to a surge protector. I have no idea. None. We've had a couple of different electricians up there, um, including the one that the town hall here uses. But we don't, nobody has ever suggested a, a surge protector, ever. We didn't ask, so they didn't, right. didn't answer, right? No, I certainly wouldn't know. But I'll think about it in my own house from now on. Yeah, I got one. So, John, um, I cut you off, kind of. No, that's okay. I think a lot of stuff was answered. Um, just, I think Tim would probably be a good person to find out about our equipment on that. I yeah. think we did have some lightning strikes years ago. And remember that? Our phone system. Yeah. You know, these things happen a lot. Um, but it's something that people don't have in their house. They typically just put them on their um, valuable items. Um, this one's unique because it hit things that were um, a lot of the 220 stuff and the uh, higher because it came through one leg. Yeah, it was and, uh, I talked to an electrician today that said well, it wasn't just one um, surge that came through. It was multiple right. that came through in such the, a short while that actually did it. Most things can the, handle right. a little bit, but this was a... Right. So um, last but not least, I, I want to publicly thank Jeannie because she was on her vacation. And I got to tell you, we were constantly, constantly texting and calling and uh, with insurances and things like that. And um, she was a godsend. But I think we owe her a couple of days because she was on the phone with me a lot during this time. So thank you, Jeannie. I appreciate it. I really do because I wouldn't have known. You keep track of your time, right? And if you're to, and you, you might get out of here for an afternoon, right? It could I, happen. You guys take care. Of it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, it was a lot of time spent. Amy never gets out of here for Did an afternoon. She's on 24 7. I should order her to take an afternoon and now and again. Um, so, can I ask a couple questions? Absolutely. Um, the actual date of the event, what? Well, was that on the 24th of December? Did it happen on Christmas Eve? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, they um, talked to the insurance company. It's, um, it went from Prime Next to Travelers, who's handling this. And basically, they, when I spoke with her today, she said uh, that the one outstanding issue was the dishwasher and, and the idea that it could potential would be repaired and she said just go buy the new dishwasher don't spend time trying to chase that down and see if it can be fixed um, she does want photos uh, this is in, in relation to the food um, if you had photos of the food when it came out or the yes. image um, if you have receipts of the food the, the expense of the food because that they're going to need all the receipts 
But um, um, Emily took pictures as she was throwing the food out and of what food she was eating. I told her to keep the receipts as she replenishes it. Okay. And do you, would you have receipts from the last time you stopped it? They said no. Okay. So just give me what you have. And um, she. What about the TV and? No, and she said, "Go, go, go, go ahead. for it." So I had I had filed the claim. And, okay. Um, and uh, there is a thousand dollar deductible. Um, so uh, as soon as you send me all the receipts, she said, "Go ahead and purchase everything and send send the receipts." Um, I did also I mentioned to you there are rebates available. Um, for your new refrigerator and the dishwasher. So I'm going to give this information to you. Um, and we can get, I mean, it's not a lot, but it's still fine. Okay. So um, did a um, great job with all the information. I, you know, you put all this together. I, I sent it all to um, very thorough. Um, so I think they were very, Comfortable that uh, we, you had done your work on this. So. so, as soon as I get the rest of the receipts, we'll send it in and then we'll settle it. Okay. I will have uh, We can hold it with the TV tomorrow. One year. Okay. Sounds good. Thank oh, you. Oh, I, I have a question. Yes, Mr. Pyra. Um, in Pat's listing of things, I heard the word donation, but yet today when we accepted donations, those items don't appear to be on the list of accepted donations by the town. That was included on the one that was today. Yeah. We, we're using that as part of the... Well, I heard, I heard a specific about a cooler from Coca-Cola, and I don't recall making a accepting of a donation from coca-cola they replaced the one we got a couple of years ago um, you have to make a, uh, so we don't need to accept that as another donation we haven't in the past i don't know i don't know i don't know a value so okay i just want to make sure that we're Following our protocols for everything. So I agree, but I don't I wouldn't know the value. I'd probably call them if you want to do that for the next time. Yeah, it's probably over our minimum that you have to report. So if we just accept the item. So the the other question that I had was of all these purchases, and I asked you this the other day, what's being what is the town um, paying for? And what is the senior center paying for? The senior center, the senior is paying for the, the refrigerator, the new refrigerator. The insurance should pay for everything else because the town, it's a town asset. And when we purchase this, it ends up being a town asset as well, the refrigerator. Okay. So it should be put under the insurance. Okay. Um, it's just being paid differently. So is that all of what we own, all of what's in the kitchen is town asset. Yeah. yeah. The way it's been always been the setup they have that way. Town and state. I know because I'd asked you, you have gotten court, three quotes on everything and you picked the best one. And I couldn't get three quotes on the dishwasher only because there aren't three quotes on the oh. dishwasher. It's, there's two mm -hmm. and they were actually 20 cents off from each other. So you picked the lower one, right? <laughs> I did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I did. But, we could pass uh, a hat to make up the difference. <laughs> I did, but I, in the other things, I, I I did get quotes on the others. But the microwave, we replaced exactly the same thing. And uh, we went to Lowe's directly. And I, I, speaking of Lowe's, I do want to thank Lowe's because they stepped up 
uh, and loaned us a refrigerator, a brand new refrigerator, unpacked it, set it up, and then when we when uh, Coca Cola came and replaced the one that was damaged, Lowe's came and got the loaned one and we took it back. I was very grateful for that because that allowed us to open up the senior center temporarily. Um, we did call the state, the food and agriculture on our license. We asked immediately what, you know, what can we do, what, we, what we're supposed to do. Um, could we open on a temporary basis without some of the equipment that we didn't have? And one of the things that uh, the first thing they asked was, did you fill the food? And that was, yes, absolutely. That's the first thing we did. And we didn't have to, we could still open without a dishwasher because we had a three base sink. And everything else was okay on a temporary basis with the state. So we were able to do that right away. And I, I have to say, uh, interacting with travelers insurance today they were very very good they mm -hmm. they said you need to get this is a senior center you're serving food you need to get this taken care of just get it taken care of nice so good 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 was, uh, yeah like i said that's interesting good very nice that's great thank you yeah and again thanks to selectman constantino mm -hmm. the committee over there everyone else who at a, at a obviously busy time of the year handled the crazy situation yeah uh, extremely well m so, and i uh, and, and you know jane the committee was, uh, emily was a godsend because she had to deal with throwing out everything and it was she was a real godsend to that effect i happened to be on vacation <laughs> super <clears throat> mm -hmm. thank you so much thank you i appreciate it there's still the issue of this cost of the surge protector and how it yet came to be installed. Uh, I'm not sure how to make this motion, I guess, without precedent, but that I would uh, move to authorize the expenditure of one and how much? $80. $80 for the installation of the surge protector under an emergency. And during an emergency, uh, I think you the senior center. take it out of top town hall maintenance, well, which sure. would be town built and town building maintenance. Yeah. I'm sure Tim will find the proper slot, but in order to get authorization, I don't blame you for doing what you did, <clears throat> certainly, but it has to be accounted for on some level. Yeah, oh, second motion and a second. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, thank you. All set? I'm all set. Now for the excitement. <clears throat> the time being 6.41 p.m., I make a motion to enter into non-public session. Per RSA 91A32A. The dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee, or the disciplining of such employee, or the investigation of any charges against him or her, <clears throat> unless the employee affected one has a right to a public meeting, and two requests that the meeting be open, in which case the request shall be granted. Second. Motion and second. Roll call vote. Constantino, yes. Yes, and yes. Ruggles, yes. Scanlon, yes. Ira, yes. We are now in non public session. You want to turn the sign around? Yes, we will. Thank you. Thank you. Eric. Eric. Scott, I'll call him. Okay. This conference will now be recorded. <laughs> don't, please don't judge me. I've been very blessed with the good genetics in that area on both sides of my family. I'm here anyway. Rolling Stone gathers no you, moss. 
Do you hear us? Eric, do you, do you hear us? Yeah. <clears throat> I make a motion to submit it to the non-public session of January 5th, 2023, because disclosure will adversely affect the reputation of a person other than a member of the board. Second. Motion and a second. Discussion? All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Mr. Pyro? Aye. Good. Uh, we're now on the Selectman's reports. Uh, Selectman Pyro, you are up first. Uh, I will pass. Pass. Uh, Selectman Scanlon. Um, no, I, I was uh, on call for the weekend from work, and uh, so I didn't I keep myself available. I spent some time riding around. Um, Kevin did a great job keeping roads free of ice in a timely manner because it, it just like flashed over. So that was that must have been a real tricky one uh, coordinating that. There were a few people helped somebody out on Winter Street that had no power and their basement was flooding and was rising and rising. Um, and I spent a good few hours part of the day with Pat at the senior center. But all in all, um, everybody did pretty good helping out. And, um, so I went for the winter and had a nice Christmas. Um, that's pretty much it. We're just uh, ready for the new year. There's going to be a few things from the planning board at the hearing, some changes. Um, one of them was uh, adjusting. There was some the way a description of more than 200 feet, but it didn't say 200 or more feet. So it was a little typo type you know, clarification. And the other one was, as you know, with our um, mobile homes, we said anything that was dated earlier than a certain date, I think it was like 95 or something, wasn't allowed. But that's being changed to a floating date. So it'd be 10 years. So anything 10 years, or older will not be moved around in town. So that clarifies it and floats each year. And those were the things that are gonna be on for the, um, it'll be for the planning board. Let's see, there are some plans for the uh, mitigation of the milfoil next year. They've had actually really successful and they got a good part of Silver Lake done and they gave exact amounts of where the weeds were taken from and how many gallons of weeds were taken out. And they were GPS numbers, so we wanted to make sure because we weren't paying to have Belmont's yeah. weeds removed and uh, vice versa. And, so, and they did a great job at, at nice. tallying it and also kind of surveying the whole thing. The other thing that's coming up uh, soon is the dam project with um, the uh, folding dam there. Well, it turns out that this was also a huge study back in, uh, I think it was the middle of the 90s. And I, I recall some of it, and we recovered a lot of the information on it, on uh, that and why it could or couldn't be done. So that's going to be a big project. I know. Um, a big study. I think Joe didn't they approve like five hundred thousand dollars for engineering study on that? Yes. Yeah. So, but that's about it for me. Thank you. Um, Selectman Constantino. I don't have much. We do, um, as a result of Fred announcing for bus drivers, we do have one additional. Um, bus driver, we had two, one out out. Um, Dennis Allen's wife, she's going to volunteer. Excellent. Excellent, I thought so. So um, she's filling out the paperwork and so on and so forth. And uh, I, <coughs> excuse me, I would really like to take the time, uh, a minute or so, to thank Kevin for all his work during the storm. It was a nasty, nasty storm. <laughs> and uh, going up and back from the senior center, there were quite a lot of flooded roads and having 
talked with Kevin, he was on top of every single one of them. It was it was amazing. Um, he did an awful lot of work. So thank you, Kevin and the gang, uh, for keeping the roads safe. And it was on his birthday. And what? Was it his birthday, birthday storm? And, it, and you had to do all that work during his birthday. Well, happy belated birthday, Kevin, and thank you for all that you do for all of us. Um, it was amazing to see all the roads cleared uh, on a timely fashion. It was wonderful. Unlike some surrounding towns that I mentioned through. But um, that's it. That's all. Oh, I, one more thing. Uh, several days in a row. I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. Several days in a row, several people have commented on the decorations along the river. Well done. Very. I don't know who they are. I don't know their names. But they stopped and asked if I was one of the selectmen. They wanted to thank me. Or whoever did the donation, the, the decorations, and I said it wasn't me, but I'll thank the person. So nice. thank you. Excellent. That's it. Thank you, Selectman Constantino. I'll make it uh, this one the thanks quick. I had said it before earlier in the meeting, but um, significant thanks to everyone involved at the senior center for handling the situation at the senior center. Um, if, if you tuned into the meeting before, you're watching the video later, the amount of damage done, um, but the work post um, everything is, is was impressive um, and having to scramble very quickly to get what is a, a valuable resource in the community, um, hopefully back up and running for, at full, full capacity very soon. So thank everyone for that. A reminder about the winter, winter parking ban, it remains in effect. From November 15th to April 15th, from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., no parking on any street. Vehicles will be towed at the owner's expense. Um, another note that uh, Monday, January 9th, uh, is Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. Um, this was established to thank and show support to law enforcement officers for their dedication and duty and service to the communities. Um, there are multiple ways that you can show your appreciation um, to law enforcement officers. Uh, you can wear blue in, for, in, in support of law enforcement. Uh, you can always send an email or a card to law enforcement officers or police departments to support them. Um, simply telling an officer thank you um, if you see them. Um, sharing a story about law enforcement officers and a positive experience um, on, on your social media accounts or just by sitting around having a cup of coffee with someone somewhere. Um, there's also a part, there's also something called Project Blue, Blue Light, which is putting a blue light um, in support of law enforcement on the front of your house, on your, your, your light pole at the end of your driveway. Um, you can also turn your social media channels blue if you want, or fly a blue ribbon from your car antenna, mailbox, or anywhere. Um, so Law Enforcement Appreciation Day is Monday, January 9th. Um, question that came forth from a citizen um, that I had previewed with the board, but um, thinking about it is an appropriate use of the townwide text um, to put an alert out about um, the, the change in our wastes, the, the waste service. Oh, yeah. Um, would that be a good thing? It was, mm -hmm. it was actually mentioned by a several citizen. Times. So, um, so I once several times. Several times. Several times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. They okay. took my okay. barrel. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So, Jeannie, maybe if we can have that just a couple of times in directing people, um, for people who who do who have not seen, um, who have not seen the post either on social media or on the website, um, if you go to the town websites right on the front page, that you can click on um, the button and it will take you right to the document that outlines the changes in the curbside pickup. Um, we're changing and shifting away from curbside recycling. Um, and um, it, if there, there's also a section, if you go on the left-hand side on the menu, it says trash and recycling. If you click on that, it'll bring you right into the same document as well. Um, so, and it's on the town, the town Facebook post. The most recent post on the town Facebook page was about um, the change in our solid waste pickup, curbside recycling, et cetera. Um, so um, we're there. We will get some more notifications out and make sure that people are seeing it um, and not wondering where their garbage cans have gone because I've gotten the same phone calls. So helping brief them on that. Yeah. <clears throat> but, and uh, for me, that is, uh, well, one more thanks. That storm, I think we, I think a lot of people, not just in Tilton, but all over, owe oh, thanks to um, all those linemen. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
you know, the linemen who are here from literally all over the country. California, yeah, with California, the one California Georgia, yeah, Street. Yeah, and Canada. So, um, you know, a, a big thanks to those folks for getting people back online. And we know that a lot of people, whether it was in Tilton or neighboring communities, had to wait a while. But um, I think that that wait was shortened by the fact that we had a significant number of linemen and tree people out there working hard 24 hours a day through holidays and sacrificing the holidays with their families. Thank you. I had a question about the uh, the trash. Um, I still found out, and, and other people have asked me, do they bring all of their stuff um, single stream and just put it in a dumpster or something mm -hmm. for the trash at um, Public Works? Yes, it's all single stream. It's all single stream okay. at the okay. Public Works, so they don't have to sort cardboard or anything. Okay. But what goes in the trash bin has to be in bags. Because hmm. I got asked that question. So that's loose. Thing? So with your solid, with your curbside solid waste, it needs to be a bag in the, bag. In the receptacle, in right. the can at the end of the project. But when you bring it down to the town single garage, stream. it's single stream and that does that should not be in a bag. No, right. No, no you, nope. just, you just throw it empty. It. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's a good question. question. Yeah, that's clear. It's like when Constantino, yes. You mentioned the law enforcement day. I would like to know what the board, the, what the select board is going to do for the law enforcement day for our law, law enforcement. Do we send a, have Jeannie send a letter or do we send them breakfast? What do we, what do we want to do? Send them our heartfelt mm -hmm. thanks. Everything they do for the people of the town, for the residents. We're all residents mm -hmm. and the people of the town. Um, and as a representative of the, the residents and taxpayers, thank you to all the men and women who have dedicated themselves to protecting us here in the town of Tilton. Thanks. I'm gonna I'm planning on wearing that nice sweatshirt. On Monday, oh, on Monday that oh, I yeah, own. So I've got the, the Tilton PD sweatshirt, sure. yeah, I, sure. I will wear on that day. Yeah, so. Police yeah. sweatshirt. Well, this isn't it. Can we get a letter to them on behalf of the board? Do you, thanking them? Do you need to see it before it goes? Monday, it's Monday. Oh, it's on behalf of the board. No. Oh. All right. Yeah. That'd be great. Some blueberry donuts. Yeah. Blueberry frosting. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jessman, you are the final one before the town administrator's report. Well, I won't hold you. Uh, I will say uh, that I sit here before you in such a cautionary tale. I am vaccinated, I am triple boosted, and I just have done my fourth bout with COVID-19. Uh, and you can nobody's supposed to take precautions, wash your hands. This isn't done yet. And uh, thank you to everybody who reached out to me. And uh, you know that was really very nice, and I appreciate it. I would have never made you guys sick. Hell, I'm married. I got a wife for that. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> uh, but that, uh, that's it. Well, we're well, grateful you made it through. We are glad. Uh, well, yeah. it's not done. You can me tonight. <laughs> uh, next up, town administrator's report. Okay. So you all got my report via email. You should have a hard copy as well. Um, I see you've already taken care of the training agreement, signed that. Uh, the school resource officer memo of understanding draft was sent to you. Um, there's is a hard copy in your packet just for you to look at for your review and I'll put it on the agenda for discussion at the next meeting. Um, your attorney prosecutor worked hard on this over, I understand, the holiday uh, to get it done. Um, survey of Morrison Avenue. So we've been trying to get quotes um, to do that work and we got questions back about the detail of what it is you're looking for. So um, bringing that back to you to give me the responses of what you're looking for. Now, I don't know if you want to think about it and come back at the next meeting or if you're prepared to do it now. 
but it obviously will impact the price of the survey. So rather than having them do a survey and then not getting everything you wanted, I want to know exactly what you want. Because the border bounds of the road. The border bounds and road, right. Yeah. So the border, the road. Right. I will, def I've, I've driven on Morrison Avenue a few times in my time here. I will defer to the man who lives yeah. right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I, the road, there's some houses there, like right on top of it, some are. And, and when we, it comes time that Kevin's going to do the, road over next year and and do the drainage we want to make sure that we're right so do you, so is it I the entirety of the morrison loop including the dog like is that did you get my mm -hmm. did yes. You get this? yes and yes. So if you could just go through and answer these questions. i'm not sure okay. what what you mean by the dog leg is well, that when, they, you, when they, you go straight in to when you take a right to go come, into the dog when you, yeah when you come back out to you know what a dog leg is it comes right out to the road yeah. That's oh, what okay, the about. one up at mm -hmm. the top. So right. if you just say yes, yes, no, no, and then because these are these questions are coming from the surveyor. Okay. So, so yes, yes, I would, first yes, one? first one. Do yes. you need a topography? No, no. Utilities need to be mapped. No. no. Uh, what level of detail is needed? Existing paving, landscaping, fencing, dragways, building faces. How far beyond the right of way is needed for this detail required? I think was we just for the right of way where the right of way of the road is. Well, staking of the right of way lines and or setting monuments be required. Uh, staking of the right of way, I think it is. Right? Actually. That might be a good idea. So yes, yes. to that? Yes. Well, because if we're going to do work <laughs> on that road, having it the exact lines uh, that encompass our project is good for the bid and it's good for the actual work. But mm -hmm. not monuments. What's a monument? Monuments it, those are the granite marker. Yeah. Granite markers? markers? No, I would say staking. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. You'll be ending up putting the markers in somebody's lawn, like across from you, because okay. it's in their porch. So, is that survey going to include existing paving, landscaping, fencing, driveways, building faces? It, did you not have us? I know. Wait, I don't know where, where is it? It's under my, there, it's, there's my report. Is that my report? Survey yeah. of North yeah. Morrison Avenue. Keep going in the front, John. In the front. The other way. Yep. Right there in the front. Right there. Okay. Okay. So you said yes to the first one, no to the second, no to the third. It's the fourth one. What level of detail? We just need the right of way. Just right away. Does everybody agree to that? Right. Yeah, I think that's appropriate. Yeah, just right away. Just okay. right away. All right, that's it. Uh, school Street light follow up. So, um, you know, we had the, I, I just want to say this at the front, uh, on the front end of this. We had a town hall assessment done recommendations of things that need to be done at town hall. I haven't been to the budget committee meetings, but I've heard there there's some um, people questioning. At the end of the day, it's what this board wants to do. I just have the assessment done for you and the recommendations are there. Um, ADA compliance, if this board doesn't want to do it, it doesn't have to do it. Um, relative to the light, uh, outside the double doors, that is a safety issue for employees. I can tell you I'm, I, I'm not comfortable at night, especially in the winter, because it's so dark there. Um, just the other day, we had an employee almost get hit by a car because you can't see anything there. So I've been here four years. And the double doors out here. Yeah, but it provides more light in the alleyway um, for walking out and walking to your car. 
you know, you since you've been working here, you're the first set of employees that used those double doors. No, no, I'm not using the double doors. What I'm using the school, the I'm using the ramp. But when you, the double doors are right next to the alley, which is very dark. So the lighting. Right. And so oh, I see. there was a concern about, we had a recommendation come back about a light. There was a concern about the look of the light. I sent in your, I put in your packet what the existing light looks like about the ramp mm -hmm. and what the light being proposed is um, for the school street entrance. So that's what's existing about, and that's what's being proposed for that second area to light up that area. I also contacted um, the Eversource to see about putting a light on the pole. Well, the, the pole that's there now, you know, is coming down because it's attached to the building and we don't like that. So that pole's got to come down. So I don't know how long that's going to take. And what they're saying is that we can put a light at the top of the pole. I, and I, but if we do that, we need a letter from the board saying they want this. Um, you know, they want this to happen. And then they're saying, but you know, if you do it now, the pole gets replaced, and you're going to have to do it again. Well, how long is that going to take? So the bottom line for me is, and for other employees, especially in the winter because it's dark and you can't see, it's a, it's a safety issue. If, if we don't want to put a light above the school street entrance and if we want to wait for the pole, that could be until the summer, that's fine. But then we just need to have, you know, and Eric does this for me and that's great at the end of this meeting. He waits for me and he walks me out and not now I'm fine. Uh, but not everyone yeah. gets that. So it, it, I, I guess what I'm just trying to explain to you is it's a, it's a concern of employees. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like if, if we're not going to put a light there, then let's have a policy that if somebody's late at night out on their own, that somebody walks them out or that we call the police department mm -hmm. and somebody walks you out. What's the cost of Jeannie? What? The light on the this double one, door. Yeah. Um, it's a thousand dollars. Installed. Installed. That's with Josh. Um, I did get the, the cost of the lights, just the light on top of the pole. I don't know what the install is, um, and that's like any depending on what wattage you choose. It's anywhere from two, I think, to three or four hundred dollars for that light. So Eversource had a thing where we could request them for safety because when people come around that corner, you, that's a, a bad. That from there up to the bridge, there's like, it's only, there's only all, one. Just, there's one light almost at the bridge for that apartment house, but this is, and behind that alley is mm -hmm. very dark. Mm -hmm. um, well, but they're telling we can you request them for cost. safety, but we have to pay. Right. We had to pay for the one down. Um, at the corner of um, sure, right. So. And when they replace the pole, they they put the light back on because right. we're right. like leasing it. So if we can, they don't... won't come and put a light on that pole though. How do you know? Uh, I, Did I, you I, ask them? Then? Which one? I'm telling you, they won't. Not on that pole. That pole is deemed. Okay, well then they need to. They they're going to replace that pole. Well, when? Well, that's what yeah. it goes that's, through a process right. it goes through different departments and then usually it takes about two or three months before that gets replaced yeah. and you, then they'll come out and it gets scheduled and then they replace it that's when the, so oh, right when above the those come. doors out there there is a um, um it's a, a wood panel above it can we put a solar light up there for now and do that I've, I've got one in my house and it lights it up when somebody walks by, you know, and it's out there and lights up the whole area. And, you know, they're only like $40 and then get a, it done proper at the pole, at least cover for now. And also, you know, I, don't, I can't, I'm against putting a light of that design on this building because I think it, yes, it works well. The other problem is it does cause problems with the camera. What happens is when it's lit up like that, it turns off the infrared 
and it only you only see like it's daytime in this area, so you won't see the parking lot anymore. So um, I'm I'm concerned about people, <laughs> employees getting hit by cars and yeah, well we bet. Oh. Well, I can't see spending a thousand dollars on a light if we can call EverSource and ask mm -hmm. them to put that on up. You know? We're still going to end up paying. I'll buy a solar light, and if it doesn't work, we can look at that. I'll take pay out of my pocket. I don't want drills holes in putting the light that's on that ramp now. That thing is old and hideous. It's a historical building. This is, you know, that's horrible. Those in, those entrances aren't aren't historical. They've been this building's historical, John. I know, but the, well aware. The other well, one has well the original aware. doors on that. However, but that above that door. Well, I'm just one, and I'm just telling I you know, that, I know, I, that that's it's, irresponsible. The, the, the so safety do that. is good for we that. Go with a regular light, it's just more of historical value, and not drill holes through the brick in the building and all that. I think the light on the pole would be the good one, but the question is how, how long do we delay in a time when it's night at 4.30? Do they have to drill holes in the brick? I was I wasn't aware of that. I mean, I can talk to Josh. I didn't hear anything about drilling holes in the brick. We tried the cheap solar light to see if it worked. I mean, like, well, it'll be I, up before anybody like, would come. I can to have it up there on, on anyway. at least Saturday. Yeah. I'll go get it. I'll put it up on Saturday by Saturday and see how that works. That'll take care of it in a very short term. If that doesn't work, then we have other options. If not that light, a different light. There must be different kinds of lights that we can put there, but if the solar light works, yay. For now, because it'll take, no matter what we do, it's going to take a, a little while to get that put up, I would imagine. What was the time frame to get this? That's what I'm waiting here. It's not going oh, to happen quite very well. I, I imagine that by the time that pole comes down and the new one gets put in, it's probably going to be light again. You know, it's going to be summer. So, the only concern I have with this solar, and I have those solars too. There's a lot of different ones. I've seen the ones that. No, Jane I don't. I could just screw in. It's got a box of them at the house. I'm concerned with. The light facing this way. So you're putting the light, the solar, and the sun's going to have to come this way. Can we, can, in, in, until the pole is replaced and the light's put on top, can we just have the board have a policy that if if oh, anyone definitely. in town hall is going to be is alone and is going to be leaving, that you can call somebody from the PD to walk on for you. Escort them to their. No, I think that's definitely. I'd rather spend a thousand dollars and put the light up. Do you know how much it costs for us, for every person that leaves the building after four thirty, for an officer to come down and escort es escort them up? If they're let's alone. be reasonable that's here. That's not going to be required. There's no way. Everybody at four thirty is going to be required. Police officer, they're not all going to be living with me. No, themselves. not every <coughs> most, most. No, I guess that people, you know, most people walk out, but there are a few. And like I say, we had an employee leave the other day, the other night, like late, and almost got hit by a car because you couldn't be seen. Um, so, so we make policy which. I mean, that book's going to get off thick with policies. Well, maybe it's not a policy. Maybe so, it's just in, in the interim until this. So we, we come up with something that's an alternative a, a policy, let's say policy. And then we say, okay, we'll call police if you're after 430 and you're walking up there alone. And and we, what if they want to call? Uh -huh. And then and then we're mm -hmm. back in the safety of that not safe for that person. Let's be reasonable about this. It, we've spent a thousand dollars on something. I'm thinking maybe we could all get our own personal thing. You can, and, and I mean this very seriously. That they, 
you can give them my number because I during the winter I'm very available except for Wednesdays I get caught up in having to do timing for basketball games but they they can give they can literally text me and I'm literally okay I'll, you understand where I, what I'm saying. I don't, I don't yeah. care how you it and it doesn't but in the short term I just would like employees to feel, feel safe, safe leaving the building that's that's my that's the end goal how you get there however you want to get there um, if I understand John not wanting to put a light on a historical building I get it um, but yeah, I get it too. what but if we it's, what it's, if we did what if we have but what if we had what if John we, we try out the solar light okay, the option weekend, if it doesn't work I'll use it in and, my and very sincerely the option to, to the, the option to call me or if there's someone from the PD available in the vicinity, that we leave that open for right now too. Because if they walk out, if the motion sensor doesn't come on, okay, we're going to wait. I'm going to call Scott. He's going to come over the hill in his pajamas. So, yeah. Can, can we send a letter from the yeah. selectmen to EverSource, um, whoever it yeah, is, I requesting would, like emergency? Support. You know that this is a very dark. I've already talked yeah. to him. Yeah. And it's not it's not an Eversource poll, it's a it's a consolidated, it's consolidated. communications poll. Eversource would be the one to install the light and I've been back and forth yeah. with them on this. So and if it's so they won't do it until consolidated replaces the poll. Well, add a couple months on to that if it's right. consolidated. Uh, well I would you know, I would argue I would tell them it's a danger to the public because I mean it's two third of the bottom is gone. Yeah. Yep. And they know they've been out. They yeah. I they came right out and they looked at everything and um, I thought it was going to get taken care of right away, and then they throw nothing. Yeah. Isn't School Street a state road? Yeah. Hmm? School oh, Street is a DOT road. too. What about DOT and Department of Transportation to take a look at that as a danger? I can that. Good idea. That might expedite things a little bit. Might. I use the word might. In okay, so at this point, John's going to put a solar yeah, light I'll get up. up I'm going to call DOT and Scott's going to take a look. I'll be, I can be, I can, yeah, I will be there. On call groups and ask the PD to be on call. Yeah, okay. yeah. and again, if they mind. can't get Scott, then they're gonna have to be on call. All right, um, contract for clean. You know, we um, we have decided that we're gonna the board at the last meeting voted to um, end that contract, and we've got a plan. Uh, I did notify the cleaning company that we were no longer going to their services and she came back to me and said I really don't want to lose the contract what can I do and I said I can't negotiate that I'll go back to the board and let them know what you said I did talk to Tim about it um, you know what his thoughts were and the reality is he's taken that money out of the budget at this point so it's, I just wanted you to be aware that that you would come back and ask. And well, he it. took it from there and he would put it into the public works for a guy that's going to work there and here, right? Well, no, the, pub because... the public works plan, I'm sorry, the public works plan that Kevin outlined is that he's training every one of his, so they'll each, I believe it was, have a week. They'll have a week where they come over. So they'll have, a, you know, you'll have one person here next week. It'll be so and so will cover that week. And then it, so he's got a rotation where they're all going through because he felt that they could all be doing so that. So he was short. Stuff. He was short two people to yeah. begin with. And he has now has two people. We're just waiting for the final paperwork to come through. And um, what he agreed to do was rotate them out, like Scott said. It's, he's not getting an additional full person. If he were getting an additional third person, then you would see that, you know, more money, but it's it's just the people, the replacing the two people he needed. And so with the people, when he's up to full staff, he will start the rotation. Does that make sense? You know no, it doesn't because he had five people. He was down two, we're replacing two. And now we're adding a cleaning contract no, we're onto not. it. No, oh, yeah, well. Onto them. Yes. We can do See, it. Yeah. Um, How good a job can they do if they're trying to catch up on all the things that they haven't done because they've been so short-staffed? I don't get that. 
talk to Kevin. He thinks they can do it, and I yeah. trust they He's can. He's doing. He scheduled it with the whole staff. Yeah. That's what it was. And that's so because he had it outlined, and I remember when he told us I, about it here. Yeah. What, what was the cleaning company and, offering? Huh? What were they offering to? I haven't negotiate? asked them anything because I didn't want yep. to get Can we find out? Do we want to? Um, yeah, I'd like to know. So, because if it's half of what they were offering, that brings them back to where they yeah. were last year. So, right. Yeah. So, if you remember, the, the, they came back with a proposal that was 40% more. Yeah. And we went back and said, that's not going to, how, how do you, what can you do? And they came back and said, okay, 15%, but they cut the services in half. Well, actually, that's probably more. Um, so um, true. Yeah. I I would you know I if if it were me I would say to them okay um, t you know ten percent increase you Same do everything you did before except in the summer you don't need to clean town hall twice a week in the winter because of the traffic and snow and stuff you twice a week here but everything and you know, that was my job. Um, Tim, like I say, when I talk to Tim, and I don't know if he's listening. I don't know if he wants to weigh in on it. Because I know he's downstairs. But anybody, are you there? Tim? What do you say? Hope so. I just. Well, it's not like these the public works guys aren't going to be doing other things aside from scrubbing the toilets in town hall in the police department. Uh, but if they can get them to level funded, I mean, do the same things that they were doing. So that's why you. Uh, then I'm we can back. stay. We can have the full staff at the highway and get the things done that. Okay. They want to get so done. So is that what you let me do? Go back to and say level fund, no changes, and we'll keep the contract. Yeah. That way we get uh, an extra get an extra public works guy fifty two weeks a year for that amount of time. Mm -hmm. It's not Certainly. a day. It's not a yeah. It's not. I, you know, I I don't I, I don't think. I mean, I'll go back and. Um, you know, ask that. I don't think they're going to go for that. They're, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to want some kind of increase when you see everyone around increasing because of pricing. Cost. You know, well, I mean, down even down a, a, a 10 percent, right? I don't think that they got to keep everything the way it okay. was. So that's but, what I'm saying. Keep yeah, everything the way it is, and we will stay with you. But it, it can't will, be more you know, than a 10 percent increase. I can't see more than five percent. No, I, it's, well, a lot it's of companies nice. are going a, a, a bit more than that. Well, they, and they, everybody's Pure paying insurance. it, and that's why we have inflation like we have, because we're, everybody's put up with it. I, I can't see paying. So you want to say 5%? Um, we, um, were, we were about to level fund, and then we jumped to 10. Yeah, so I, let's go with John's 5%. I just, <laughs> you know, I, I think we can do it, um, if because we subcontract out what windows, floor cleaning, some of the stuff that we... Con we subcontract out for right? um, we yeah get... outside windows we haven't didn't do that this year uh, floors um, yet over at the at the PD but not here I think you and Tim have been extraordinary <laughs> negotiators with contractors in the past few years I think go ahead and go back and negotiate with them and see what they what the lowest point that you can come back with okay offer them five and I would five seven percent for ten. Okay. Yeah. And, and come, come back because we have right. uh, we have next yeah. another next meeting week. this month yeah. before the end. Right. Yeah. Ready but the same, it, it and you can always be, say, oh, you know, it, the thing with the dealer, I'll go talk to the manager. It, it, you know, yeah, it, needs, to, it needs to be the same services though. It's not but, a common yeah, service. It has to be the same service. service. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that. By a herd of rhombus. So, so um, just just kind of give you an update. Give you an He's update. Oh. Um, they're going to be coming. They've already started working on the uh, technical um, issues here. Um, the electrician will be in next week to start with the electrical. Um, Kevin um, is uh, working on the table. 
Uh, so I would, and nothing, at, I've got a meeting with the, everyone tomorrow just to talk about the disruption up here or lack of disruption and make sure everything is coordinated. Um, at some point, and I did talk to you about this before, we're going to, we've got to figure out what to do with files. We talked about files up there, moving some downstairs. At, my understanding was you, you all were, that was my understanding is that you under, there were things up here that could be moved downstairs. I, I would talk to Catherine about it, but I haven't, you know, I will, but I haven't talked to her yet. But we're going to start making the moves of files and everything else. When are so, you going to do that? Jean? Well, I, that that's, we're having a logistics meeting tomorrow, but it's going to be in the next month and month and a half. To coordinate with the work here. Right. If somebody leaves me a bucket to recycle and I'll come on the weekend, not this weekend, but maybe the next weekend, I'll come and empty the selectman file that I have oh, up here. Okay. And that will be easy to move because to there's a lot of garbage up there that <coughs> really should be thrown. I haven't put anything in mine in six or seven years. Me neither. Um, That's why I'm saying it could be thrown out. It's uh, okay. Great. I know it's the okay. uh, Conservation Commission uses theirs. Well. Their files. So, are there files? So, talk to Chuck. Huh? Talk to Chuck. Okay. He's the, okay. Put um, him in charge again this year. Is he? Is he home? Yeah, I don't. Is he home? No, I don't know if he's home yet. We'll leave it at that. Um, Kathy could probably take care of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's been. It I, I just wanted to circle back to. It's been a while since um, we've had. Any department heads come in and do kind of uh, updates with you that you've been getting the reports, yeah. um, whether it's, um, you know, the police department, DPW, myself, everyone. Do you want to, just checking in, do you want department heads to, do you want to meet with them on a monthly basis every other month? Are you good with the way it's working? Personally, I'm good with the way it's working unless they have an issue and they want to come see us. Okay. I'm thinking at least once each quarter. I could go once a quarter unless there was something that you know, had their, to be discussed. At their leisure, you know, what, whichever I, day works. For them. I think quarterly would be appropriate. Okay. Eric, thoughts on department head meeting with us? Quarterly. <clears throat> quarterly. Um, as long as they continue to send in their reports. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, the reports are great. Okay. I would. We said we would like the reports. What every other week, right? When well, we met. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They're supposed to be, um, um, and I think with the holiday, just it yeah, got everybody crazy. backed up. But they're supposed to be in by Tuesday at noon, so you have it by Tuesday yeah. afternoon, and you have a couple of days to look yeah. at it. Right. I, I would agree that we didn't need them every week, but we need every other week. Um, and <clears throat> my FYIs, I, unless anyone has any questions about those, um, next meeting that we have, we will be having a public hearing to accept the 75000 uh, uh, plus for the maintenance, construction, and reconstruction of municipal young branches. And that's all I got, unless you have any questions for me. Um, and there was information in there, uh, update on the nine mechanic street. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I did have a question on that. I'll wait, though, because it's not important. So yeah. Not non public. No, it's not important at all. It's just logistics. Thank you. Well, I do actually. I I do want to talk about that because I we've got now everything is done there, but there are some vehicles, um, and there are uh, uh, there are different ways. I, I think what I'll do is I'll send you an email and you can look at it. I don't want to discuss okay. it. Yeah. Um, that's all I got. Oh, oh, sorry, one more thing. One more thing, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> You're going way over Tim's time.
Um, <laughs> oh, I just want, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that you saw, because you get everybody's reports, um, that you saw at the end of Leanne's report, um, the postage cost increase. So that was, that you didn't miss that. I didn't, I didn't get Leanne's. Yeah. Uh, in the email. email. It's it, it's well it didn't come in any in an email. No, it okay. Didn't. It's, but it's on it's working. on the back page, the last page. All right, I didn't read it yet. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. In. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. Okay. All right, now sure. we go. Thank you. I don't um so if the if the public works in the PD are sending us the reports. We really shouldn't have to print them and put them in our books, personally. No, but sometimes people I know, get I get feeling it. they forget. Oh, I can't have them in my hand at the meeting. Okay. All right. I get it. Fill the tree. I refresh my memory. Okay, we kill a lot of them. Is there any new business at this time? I think Joe has something. I have a question. Mr. Pyra. So well, I've been sitting here, and how you're going to bring back the the contractor to clean town hall? You made that we made that decision apparently with relative ease, but yet to spend a thousand dollars for the safety of our employees, we argued and didn't make a real good decision. So. Understand that. There's no problem spending thousand dollars back into the budget, but yet this a thousand dollars for the safety of our employees, we're we're not going to do it. I think we came up with a different plan and the procedure that we're going to go down, right? Kind of. We didn't ignore the light. We just decided on a different start. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, well. I'll just put. I think right now we have a band-aid plan, sort of to try the solar light that John's going to pull up, see how it works, be able to have the backup plan of being able to request someone to come walk them to the parking lot, but looking at the permanent requesting that. Yeah, requesting the permanent the permanent light on the pole, lighting up the whole street. Mm -hmm. All the way to the parking lot, not you. I just question why, why, why we're not going and worrying about the safety of our employees versus a company to come in and clean. I, I, I'm dumbfounded. Well, I'm worried about the safety of employees. I don't think there's anybody here that's not. Well, I think I think the other the cleaning company too, Eric, was the allocation of time of another department as well. And but you're, you're just allocating, on your, on your light plan, you're allocating the resources of the police department to come down and walk an employee across the street. How much is that going to cost over time? That was the question, one of the questions that came up. I'm just dumbfounded. Okay, I said my piece. Noted. Anything else? Mr. Jessen. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So we're going to have to have. Um, Hope you be well, Eric. Eric. I think we have to do a, um, the reports for the town report. Let's know if you need any. Do you write it? The, 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 the thing I'm going, yeah, I've started to draft it. I'll have it. And then okay. um, we've got to find. To Jimmy gave me my to. deadline. <laughs> so I, got, I don't know if the other departments. Oh. Jeannie, I will walk you out to your car tonight. Uh, t I think Tim's still back. Really? All right. And he didn't answer you? Yeah. Oh, no, that was disgusting. He's probably, he's probably, he's he's probably not, watching sports. If he's on. not. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, I will. He's probably watching the Republican caucus. Oh, he good Lord in heaven. <laughs> they're not, see, they, they're, they're not, they got a ways to go for the record. I don't drink beer, but I'd rather drink beer than watch that. It's like a clown car.
And it really doesn't make any difference in the operation of the other than the fact they can't start. Well, they can go. What do you think they're going to do? Well, I, I understand that it's the same old thing. It's all. But I understand they're, they're still. Uh, they're still about 125 votes off the record. Hmm. There were same in, 1850, in 1856, it took them two months. 133 yeah. votes. Yep. Same circus, just different clowns. Yeah. It's, it's... No, because this guy supposedly, isn't he supposedly 